What up guys, Kevin here. This is the updated Asus ROG Gaming PC. This is a 3070 11700F. I'm just gonna do an overview. Just look at the insides, boot it up, and let's see if it's an upgrade from last year, because this is an upgrade from last year. Now, there is some issues I'm already seeing online, or at least Best Buy in the reviews, that if you get this on sale, and you're probably watching this video because it's on a deep discount. Well, I don't know if deep, but I saw this on sale for $13.50 at Best Buy. The deal ends today, but I'm sure it's going to cycle around. So shout out to everyone that's checking this video out. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll have another video or two by the next sale to see if it really is worth it. But um, I'm just going to point out some upgrades for this PC if you do buy it at $13.50 that you may still be able to get a really nice PC under MSRP, which is 1650. But yeah, here's the Asus ROG gaming PC. Let's show you the box. Very compact. When the dude brought it out, they usually have the wheelies out. The guy was just holding it. I'm like, oh geez, that's a lot tinier than I expected. Well, I should have expected because I did a <laughs> I did a overview last year. And I'm like, wait, didn't I do a video on the loudest PC I've ever had? And it was the older model. So hopefully that got fixed. But again, I'll just point out a few upgrades that you may want to make with this guy if you are having any issues. Um, let me point out something very cool. You notice the side here, just some tin metal uh, siding. They do include this. This is the first time I've ever seen this. They do give you a, I don't know if that's tempered glass. It feels very cheap and plasticky, but I've never seen this. There's my dog. So you can swap that out if you want to see all your pretty innards while you're gaming or looking at whatever on your Asus Raw Gaming. That That is so cool. Shout out to Asus. I don't know if anyone else does that. I'm sure somebody does, but very cool. I'm just gonna set that down. Let's take a look at this guy. So, right away, um, Intel i7-11700F, we know it's Windows 11. Long DDR4, 3,216 gigs. I think that might be an issue. We're gonna find out in just a second. Um, two terabyte uh, hard drive. And then you get a 512 gig PCIe generation three, not gen four, um, but NVMe gen four, you can get a one terabyte for less than 150. So those are going down, coming down in price. Um, without ODD optical drive. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think you're getting any PC with the optical drive these days. Uh, integrated LAN, all right. Um, here's the ports, you get a couple USB ports. I think these are just 3.0. Uh, headphone jack. Here is the power button. Let me go ahead and power it up. There we go. Takes a second. That's what it looks like with it on and this casing. Looks pretty cool. Again, I appreciate these pre builts that go for some type of design. I did the new Alienware a few weeks back, and that was really the only nice thing I had to say, is like, at least it looks like something. I didn't like the design, but I like, I at least like when they go for a little bit of a design. Now, not much room for, I don't see much for air intake. Got that there. Let's look at its booty. So, just your standard ports there. So I just learned this. I guess if it's blue, that means it's 3.1. So you got four. The website says there's six. I don't know if these two are 3.1 as well. You got your ethernet port, those holes, those holes, <laughs> or two display ports. No, you got three display ports. That might help if I actually focus, sorry. Three display ports here. One HDMI. Might be an issue, might not be, but that's the back. Pretty standard stuff. And then on this side here, not much. Not much happening. 
go ahead and shut that down. But yeah, so right away, I just like how slim this looks. I got a pretty wide um, TV stand. I'm like, I can't find the word TV stand. And this can fit just easily on the side of the TV stand. I don't need like an extra stand. So I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll probably set it up on this desk here and I can even just set it on the side. But let's open this bad boy up. Very easy. Do you need a screwdriver? Though the screws were loose, so I took these all off with my hand, but here's the screws. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> now it looks pretty clean. I gotta say, it looks pretty clean. All the cables are black. You're not getting any mustard. Everything seems to be in place. Remember the fan on the Dell? This was like twisted and had these tiny little fans. I don't know what the size is that, 80 millimeter? Yeah, I mean, you just get this little fan, get the CPU. Not much else. Yeah, you may want to put in a fan or two. If you can, I don't know, maybe you can insert something here. Nothing really up there. Um, but yeah, you see the 3070 there. Oh, is that an air blower? Let's see if I can get that in there. Okay, I can't. <laughs> but do you see that? I don't think I've ever had an air blower or a blower style. Is that what they call it? GPU. That might be a first for me, but that's where you're getting. It's a 3070. 3070, absolutely great for 1080p. More of a 1440p card, I would say. And yeah, it can do 4K depending on the game you're playing and what frame rates. But I expect on most games to get 60 FPS, 1440p, unless it's not a very well optimized PC. Now, you can already spot, yeah, this right here, little rinky dink fan. This is what, something like Intel? It might be a little bit more of a step up from Intel. The thing is, the fans Intel gives you, it's like, really? <laughs> it's like, what am I supposed to do with it? Wipe my butt? This looks like maybe a five cent step up, but my God, I probably expect to replace this. And of course you probably see one of the biggest issues is pre-built. If you're a gaming pre-built company, go ahead and give us two sticks of RAM. Give us two eight gigs. We got one stick of RAM here, 16 gigs. Like, what are you saving? They have to save maybe a buck or two by doing this. And, you know, over what, a couple hundred thousand? Yeah, that adds up to quite a few salaries. So that's probably why they do it. And they just assume, well, like Kevin's going to say here, they just go ahead and buy yourself. Uh, 16 gig of RAM or most people are not even going to open this up and look hopefully things just work as expected and no issues now the power supply let's open up the power supply here take that off another one of my biggest issues and complaints is hey this is a nice place to start at um 1350 on sale 1650 Full price. If you're going to spend full price on this, maybe look for something else. Um, yeah, these PCs are coming down in price, even pre or even if you want to build your own. I'm seeing GPUs like I can go get a 3070 Ti <laughs> at Best Buy right now, and I got to pinch myself still just because I never thought we were going to get back to those days. Uh, let's check out this side. You know, points for cable management, points for cable management. Shout out to them, especially in this very compact build. And it looks very easy. I can get my hands in everywhere. If I do need to upgrade it, and I probably will, I already see a few issues. It's going to be a cakewalk. 
Power Supply by Great Wall. Never heard of them. 500 watts. Gold. Cool. 500 watts. We know NVIDIA suggests 650 for a 3070. Now, maybe I guess they get away with it because you're pairing it with 11700F, which is not as power hungry as a like a 12900K, but yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Again, it's them saving a few bucks over a hundred thousand. That adds up to quite a few salaries. So let me go ahead and price out all the stuff that you may need. Cause looking at the reviews on Best Buy, people have issues. Um, I kept, of course, if something's like DOA, definitely return it. But if you're like, man, things are running a little bit hot, a little bit loud. Um, I can really use um, dual channel RAM. Let's go ahead and price this out. Again, 1350. Let's say the case here. If you have an issue with the case, that is what? You can get a very decent case at Best Buy, walk-in ready for less than a hundred bucks. If you go on to like Newegg or somewhere else, even cheaper. All right, so that brings it to 1450. You wanna get dual channel RAM, what? 60 bucks, 70 bucks uh, for that. So that brings it what, to 1450? I'll just say $1,500. And then a new cooler. I bought a cheap $40 cooler from Best Buy from like Cooler Master about a year ago and the thing worked excellent. So that's an extra 40 bucks. So what are we at, 15? About 1550. And then the power supply, the power supply might be, you might get by, but if you wanna do any upgrades in the future that might get a little bit more beefier, yeah, you can get like a 650. Hell, you can get a 750 watt for less than a hundred bucks. So for MSRP 1650, you basically get this with all the upgrades you need to make to get this machine running cool, probably running a little bit more quiet, dual channel RAM, and a beefier power supply. So that's why I can't complain too much so far with getting this on sale for $1,350. If I paid MSRP, which I wouldn't have done, and had to make those upgrades, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not a great deal. But yeah, that is the Asus ROG gaming PC. I really dig it so far. Um, I'm being very, very um, nice to them because it was on sale. And I am expected to, of course, make some changes. Definitely going to get some RAM. I expect to get a cooler and I'll just go from there. Oh, yeah, there's the 512 gig SSD. Um, you do get two terabytes of the hard disk drive down there, which for me is fine. I only download like about one or two games at a time. So no issues there. And they do give you that two terabytes for if you do want to back up your games or swap your games from the SSD to the hard drive. But yeah, there you have it. Cool. Again. I got it for $13.50, expecting things to not be perfect, expecting to open up my wallet a little bit more. So we'll see a few weeks from now how things turn out. But yeah, if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. There's my dog and her butthole. I'll talk to you later. Later.